We want to help people. We want to make sure that kids can um, live to their fullest potential. Having a child with special needs is pretty awesome. I mean, it's, it's not easy, don't get me wrong. I mean, we spend, we have had quite a few hospitalizations, lots of doctor's appointments, but I, I wouldn't ask for anything else. You know, everybody says that their kid is one in a billion, but our kid actually is one in a billion. He was diagnosed with uh, ZTTK. There's actually only 200 cases in the world. Carlos's personality is definitely one that tries to, to warm your heart and, and really meet you, make you feel better about yourself. We're really blessed to be able to be a part of the CTU because right away you're part of the family. This program has been in existence for over 50 years. This building has been here for over 20 years. So in that time, there's been a lot of development of how we are offering services, how we treat patients. It's changed over these years. So through donor support, we can help stay up to date with the technology. We can help stay up to date with the education our clinicians need to provide the services that we are providing. I got a call on a Saturday afternoon that Avery was at Tacoma General and that he'd been intubated and overdosed sometime in the morning. So I raced down there thinking, well, this could be the last time I see Avery. They had moved him to ICU. He was, like he said, in a coma for 11 days. Often their best chance is coming to rehab to improve their quality of life. And so in rehab, we really focus on trying to provide as excellent of care as as possible, not perfection. We, we, we don't shoot for perfection, but uh, we really embrace excellence. About five years ago, I, uh, I fell at home and they brought me to Good Sam Hospital and I went into the rehab center. Ken could barely move, couldn't even turn in bed when he first got there, so it was, it was where's the hope here? What can we do? Well, they set goals for him. When he would reach that goal, it may be very, very small or big, but they applauded him. That they were preparing him for his recovery and for when he would return home to be as independent as he could be. And the therapists who were in there uh, dealing with each of these areas were just outstanding. It really lifted my spirits. Inpatient rehab is the beginning of a long recovery for some folks. And for many of our patients, um, having adequate support and resources to, to achieve their best outcomes is so important. So it was just wonderful to find out about Good Sam. It was like literally a lifesaver. I have a lot to say good, about Good Sam because I really loved the place. It was really fun, but the staff there was just amazing. They're so attentive to my needs. I mean, from the first day I was there, I felt like I was family. I think you can tell from both of what we've had to say that we are strong advocates for the center and what they can do and what their uh, expertise is and how they can apply it to patients who need it. I just can't say enough about the center and its people. It's, it's saved me, quite frankly, uh, from being an invalid uh, once I got back into my home life. You don't think about, you know, hey, $5, $10, $100, it's not huge, it's a cup of coffee, it's, it's a dinner out, it's whatever it is. But you've saved my son's life. And I'm, I'm, it sounds melodramatic, but it's true. Between the 200 plus days in the hospital, be, between the countless ambulance rides, between all the other things that we're, we're doing at the hospital, it, you've saved my son's life. Thank you. Avery's ability to go to uh, Good Samaritan, and because it was there and available to him and helped by don donations by other people, really changed the course of his life. It changed our family. No one ever 
gave him a lecture about being a drug addict or look how you ended up in this situation. Everybody just wanted to help. It was kind of unconditional regard for Avery and helping him get better. Anyone who gives money to those kinds of endeavors really deserves a lot of credit. Because a lot of times you never see the effect of the money you give, but Avery's a living example. I'm forever grateful to Multicare for investing in him. Me too. I apologize for crying. Oh, no. uh, but the hospital gave me my life back to share with my loved ones, and I can never thank them enough. Thank you.